Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Nichi Joe, episode number four reaction. Alright. The previous episode we met a new character or a new animal. Um her name uh her not sorry her sorry his his name was Sakamoto and uh, he is a cat which professor and uh, um nan uh, nano they like you know he's a part of their family now now as far as i could understand from the previous episode uh i think sakamoto is like someone else's cat and he just you know fell down and ran away and uh, <clears throat> uh nano found him while professor bot brought him to their house and uh, now with the help of the sc scarf uh he can talk now and <laughs> He's a pretty interesting cat, kind of moody as well. Like <laughs> I was annoyed at the fact that they were petting him and all, but I seemed to understand when like you know threatened to uh, leave him back to where he was. You know he was like sorry, like you know forgive me. <laughs> I'll not do that again. <laughs> so yeah, that was kind of funny. Uh, while this was happening over there uh, on um, Mio and like you know uh, Yuko's side. Uh, they were like you know, Yuko was uh, trying to get like a home, like homework from Mai, and made a lot of uh, like you know promises that okay I'll give you I'll buy you this I'll treat you this that all that stuff she kind of did. Unfortunately, it did not work out properly because the homework that she got was something that she didn't even like you know like realize that they had this homework. But something happened like you know like it was like a long time before that homework was given and she didn't do it. So unfortunately, by the end of it. It didn't work out and she did get called by the teacher so but still a promise is a promise so by the end of it she tries to kind of you can weasel past that promise unfortunately it doesn't work they do a uh, like you know <laughs> arm wrestling competition um yuko thought she would win but even after so many times of attempt she lost and by the end of it she's like all right i'll treat you to whatever you want to and there was like something she said that oh the that thing we're going to I'm going to give you uh, from the in front of the station. I don't know what that was, but we'll probably get to know in the future what she was talking about, which thing she was talking about uh, from in front of the station she was going to buy or something. But yeah, like you know, that was funny. That last session was funny where there was like a whole shonen isk type of thing happening where they were like, <laughs> Yuko was like, oh, you know, this time I'm going to do it. Oh, this is not my full power. This is my full power. But all the time she lost. So that was funny. So yeah, let's see what happens this episode. This is episode number four of Nichi Joe. All right, I'll be putting the subtitles in the timer here. Thank you to whichever is a preference, and let's get started. All right, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Morality. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully. Oh my god. All right. <laughs> Student advice, okay. 
Oh, who's this? Is this? Ah, this is. Hey, wait, what was his name? Um, Ta Tasa Tasa Tasagawa. <laughs> Damn. She even has a wine. Okay, well. <laughs> ah, understandable. Where is he going to put that? Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, good. Oh my god, what the? Well, I think you shooting him is, is something that... Okay, there you go. <laughs> Damn, she just picked it up. <laughs> wow, okay. Oh, that's the... Uh, I think... What? What? Um, I don't think that answers the question. Um, okay, I think he himself probably don't, doesn't know. <laughs> he himself doesn't know, I think. Oh my god, that's funny. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Student advisor. Oh, this guy. Nakanojo, that's his name. You shouldn't read on. Yeah, while walking. Oh, oh that. Oh my god. It doesn't it doesn't grow or something? Oh no. Is this something sensitive? It doesn't grow! <laughs> okay, teacher, now you're being insensitive, you know? <laughs> um <laughs> Wow. Please move once thousands of what okay what is that lemon oh no plum oh <laughs> ah oh my god junk food <laughs> well she knows Oh my god. Takamoto. Wait. Uh, what? What the? Why is there a snowman? Yeah. Is that really snow? Why is it not melting then? Oh, it, it is. Okay, never mind. <laughs> no. no. 
what 98 yen and now everyone wants to buy it what uh all right there you go it looks kind of sad <laughs> okay <laughs> okay Oh my god. Okay, wouldn't it melt if you... How is it not melting? Wait, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, that's why it's not melting. They're putting more on it. Okay. It's putting more on it. Oh, I forgot, I think. Oh my god! <laughs> forgot. <laughs> wow, another wor word play, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, let's see what comes out this time. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's fine. Mr. <laughs> uh. Wait, she's sleeping? Oh no. Oh my god. Okay, what's up now? Whoa, what? What's my, that's my, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> no one's paying attention to her. Oh, she's waking up. Oh. Wait. <laughs> Has she already finished her exam? Wait! <laughs> okay. Yuko should do her. Otherwise, she'll. No. <laughs> Wait, what? No. No, no. What? What? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what? Okay. Well, that was random. Wait, so does she have a wig or is that a wig in a ball? Yeah, I knew it. It was something like that. Wig under a bald cap under original hair. Short thoughts. Hmm. Okay. Oh. oh my god, he's still doing that. <laughs> Go soccer club, okay. <laughs> okay. All right, Barracky. 
Oh, I think I've seen this. This I've seen in a lot of clips. Like a parakeet comes and starts talking. Like ware ware wa uchujin, something like this. She says. Oh no. Oh no no no. Oh okay okay never mind. It was something. Okay, I mixed two animes up. All right. Oh my god, I feel like cats should not... Yeah! I don't think that's the point here. Cats definitely should not... Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. But this is Gum. Is it? Is it one of those ones? Yeah, it's one of those ones. <laughs> the electric ones. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> she knows what she's doing. She's deliberately doing everything. Wow. Okay, she's taking that with her? Alright. <laughs> Damn, this place is... Uh. Ah, this is the professor you're talking about. She's a master inventor. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> what is oh my god <laughs> oh my god he's playing with the <laughs> respect huh <laughs> Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god, the, the, the snowman is... Ah, she's back? Homer. Oh, it's the teacher this time. Is she gonna trip or something? Um, okay. Now I've got no joke. Oh my god, does that come off? Oh no, oh no. Damn! Whoa! Okay, that's <laughs> oh, this girl, the one who was playing with the What's to read? 
What? <laughs> ah. Okay. <laughs> what? They, I don't think they are understanding what. Okay. Wait, what? Okay. Is she, is she reading from the book? She knew, not sisters, best friends, she's saying. Best friends, it's not sisters. What? She's reading part of the book, I think, and then. Yeah, she's reading the book. Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, she's reading the book, I'm pretty sure now. Ah. <laughs> oh my god where's the punchline i'm waiting for the punchline Oh my god, there you go. <laughs> and that was a long one. Yep. <laughs> oh my god, not again. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> yeah, this is a roller coaster. <laughs> this is a roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh my god, what? Okay. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god, what? Whoa, okay.
that was a that was a crazy long you know punchline <laughs> oh my god All right, is there something else? Okay. Ohara Noriko. Okay. Now, I understand, like, you know, from the comments of the previous episode, uh, someone told me that the final section is voice acted by different voice actors. And I, I saw that there was. Like in the end, there was written who was the one who voice acted it, the final section. This today it was Ohara Noriko. So I'll try to see if there's anyone who comes up who I like, you know, personally recognize. Because uh, I have a uh, like, you know, I, I know a few voice actors by their names. I'll try to see if there's any one of them comes up or not, you know, in, in the final section. But yeah, anyways, um, so okay, this episode here. <laughs> okay so we start with uh the principal telling the teacher okay what's the name of the teacher mm, sakurai izumi that's the name yep izumi okay so uh the uh, principal tells her that okay like some people are um Oh wait, she's a student advisor as well. Okay, okay, she was talking about that. All right, so she's not only the homeroom teacher, she's also a student advisor. So the principal was like, lately the morality is in decrease. So you need to like, you know, uh, get your, you know, like get your act together and you know, like crack down on them. So she's like, all right, like, you know, I'm a teacher and I should definitely do that. So she just goes out and uh, Sasahara is just <laughs> having his meal. You know, like just uh, even has a little wine by his side, just having. I think that was a steak. Yeah, he was like you know, eating a steak and just just walking and you know just going. And uh, I feel like that's that's what can we say? Like you know, like that's very um you know time conserving. You know, like he he's he's walking at the same time he's eating. It is bad manners. Like like you know walking and eating it is considered bad manners. But this is. Uh, time saving you know like he, he doesn't have to sit down or you know like spend time eating he can just walk and eat <laughs> I don't know <laughs> so yeah like you know as, as a product productive member of the society I feel like he, he was doing a pretty well job <laughs> but unfortunately this is a school so yeah you need to keep your manners in check you should not uh, run on the hallways you should not uh, walk while eating so the teacher was like all right yeah, let's this is a, like another you know, first person that I should uh, stop <laughs> and she's like okay you should not eat while walking and it's like ah I'm sorry like, you know, I skipped back breakfast so it, my stomach was rumbling that's why I was like all right let me have a little meal then but yeah I apologize and he I was like I was thinking where is he going to keep that like that's like a huge thing and from where I don't know the butler comes in and he just hands the whole thing over to him and now uh, here's one thing we should get to uh, like you know we should think about here that uh, Sasahara is also very um, appreciative of uh, like, you know someone who like you know like the people who made the food for him he's appreciative to them as well that's why he said like tell the chef uh, 
Uh, okay, what did she hear? He say? Um, it was delicious. Okay. <laughs> and there you go. I can appreciate that. You know, like you should always give compliments to the people uh, who like you know give something and make something for you. And uh, definitely, if it's like you know someone who cooks food for you, you should definitely compliment them. Like, ah, today's meal was good. Something like this. You know. <laughs> So yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, in comes uh, Misato. I think that was her name. Misato. Yeah, Tachibana Misato. <laughs> she has like a minigun. <laughs> She's like, why are you shouting in the hallway? That's like you know, uh, like you know, breaking the rules or something. He said. She said, but <laughs> then she herself has a minigun so yeah anyways um she's like someone calls her to do something i think some kind of duty she had she picks up the minigun and just walks away <laughs> right so <clears throat> sasaro was oh forgive him her like you know she's like that but she's a nice person and uh, here the biggest question comes up uh the teacher uh what was her name i forgot uh sakurai izumi he asks him what's that frill thing around your neck now like as far as i like you know if, if like you know taken this like you know seriously i think uh i think i've seen that kind of thing people who are um you know like wear suits and stuff like, you know those type of people they kind of have that little thing over there you know um i don't know what it's called either but we've seen this a lot you know like it's like kind of like a little thing like that little thing that pops up here is kind of uh you know, a little looks like a little handkerchief or something. I don't know what it's called, but we we've seen this before. But yeah, the teacher obviously asks her him like, what what is that thing? <laughs> he he starts saying something completely different. He says something like, <clears throat> he first of all he laughs and then he's like, oh like you know, uh, everyday life is a series of miracles or something. He says like that and he just looks outside. The teacher is like, yeah, I know that, I understand that, but what is that thing? Just laughs and he's like, ah, I'll I'll see you later, and just goes away. And that pro <laughs> and it's probably he himself doesn't know what it's called. <laughs> oh, and uh, yeah, so the teacher was like, all right, he she goes to the next person, and uh, this guy, his name is. Um, what's his name? Nakanojo, I think. Yeah, Nakanojo. Uh, Nakanojo is like you know walking, and I thought she, she was going to say something like, "Oh, why are you reading in like you know while walking or something like that?" But she says like, "All right, your hairstyle," which obviously I'm like, you know, you know what? This is the problem. You know, I feel like we uh, people who watch anime have gotten so used to some crazy, wacky, you know, colorful hairstyles that. Like, you know, seeing hairstyles like this doesn't even bother us. Like, seeing that scene, the first thing that I thought about was that uh, the teacher was going to call him out because he's walking and reading. I, it did not even register my mind that she would say something about the hairstyle. Because the hairstyles are pretty normal to us. These are like some pretty normal hairstyles for anime. So, like, you know, we kind of got so used to these type of hairstyles that we wouldn't even, like, like that thing wouldn't even register in our mind. When she's like, oh, your hairstyle isn't it too much for school? I'm like, oh yeah, you're right. Like, you know, <laughs> the, like, you know, we, we <laughs> I was thinking about him walking and reading, but the bigger problem here is his hairstyle. I'm so used to anime hairstyles that then it didn't even register in my mind in the beginning. So, <laughs> and he just, he's like, oh, like, what are you saying? You know, my hair doesn't grow. That's why it's like this. And oh my god, that was funny. Okay, the next part is Go Soccer Club. And this is this random dude. He's uh like you know he's doing that um Daruma Sanga Koronda, that green light, red light, I think that's what it's called. Um uh so like like okay, like here's the thing. I feel like nowadays, like you know, this whole green light, red light, people kind of whenever this this type of thing comes up, people are like, oh, it's from Squid Game, isn't it? You know, but <laughs> for me, you can, you know, like my, like, you know, this, like a Daruma Sanga Koronda, this whole thing, this game thing, you know, this green light, red light, 
like when I was a child, I remember watching Takeshi's Castle. If you guys know, you know, I used to watch it so much. Like at that, like you know, I was I was I was a child at that moment. And honestly speaking, I really didn't understand anything what they said because everything was in Japanese. So I remember it came up on I think one of the children's uh, well, like you know TV channels. I think it was was it Cartoon Network or something, some kind of channels like that. Uh, but I, I I saw that you know like every day it was very if you guys know Takeshi's Castle it was like a game show like where a lot of people com competed and by the end of it like you know it's like you could say it, it was a, like a battle royale I guess you could say something like that um so <clears throat> you know like then, then in that game show there was one of these like you know this like you know this thing which was Daruma Sanga Korunda I remember like you know there were like, like you know participants who wore a, a, a very constrictive thing like you know and, and kind of jumped and like you know it was like a thing that like a costume where they couldn't move properly someone was down and they used to jump and try to go close and sometimes they would trip and then fall you know and the person in this uh, front they would like you know uh, as always like you know, as the game says like like say daruma sanga koronda and then like you know look behind if someone's moving that person gets disqualified as far as i can remember something happened like that and my like you know like whenever this thing comes up this game show comes up i get reminded of that like i've not even seen squid game myself but nowadays i see people like you know referencing squid game whenever this game comes up in anime or any anything else but whenever I see this game, I get reminded of Katakeshi's Castle, and <laughs> I just wanted to like you know share that like you know it, it's it's like something that I remember from my childhood. Like I used to watch Takeshi's Castle so much that yeah, I I even memorized the whole Daruma Sanga Koronda. Uh, I didn't know what it meant, but now I know what it means. Daruma Sanga Koronda. Daruma San falls down. I think that's what it's translated with. Yeah. Uh. So yeah, that was funny. You know, like I I, I love that show so much. But yeah, anyways, um, enough about that. Uh, so yeah, this guy uh, says, like, you know, the green light, red light looks behind. And this is girl. And she's like, everyone went home. <laughs> uh, that was a little thing. All right, the next scene, what was that? The, in, front of, in front of the urinal, it was written, please move 1,000 thou steps forward. It was written, please move one step forward. But someone wrote 1,000 steps. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, the next part. Um, Hakase and Nano are in a supermarket uh, buying stuff. Uh, she brought some green plum and uh, she's trying to uh, buy some other stuff as well. Uh, professor is like, oh, I want some junk food. Like, looks at the, like, you know, potato chips. And... <laughs> Uh, Nano's like no, like you know, like uh, uh, no more junk food today because you already ate it yesterday, and this time we're going to get Sakamoto's food as well. So, <laughs> so yeah, for that like, you know, we cannot like you know waste money. And she's like, no, I want junk food. And then suddenly on top of the shelf there was a random snowman, and I'm like, how the hell is this thing not melting? It was probably because the whole, uh, most probably the supermarket was uh, air conditioned. So that's probably why it was not melting but still a little bit like you know it was melting and uh, it was just there and it was quite cheap 78 yen or something like that i think how much was it uh how much was it 98 yen okay so yeah and <laughs> like as soon as she sees that everyone's like oh should we buy that so she had to make a decision she brought the snowman and Haka says like why why do you get to buy things why don't I get anything so he starts throwing a tantrum and <laughs> Nano's like fine just pick one I'll I'll pay for one <laughs> and yeah they take the snowman back house and oh my god like I was wondering how is you know how is the snowman still in shape like, isn't it melting then I realized they're shaving eyes and putting it in the snowman. <laughs> That's how it was like, you know, still not, it was still not melted. Mm. Okay, so. Now, okay, so um, Sakamoto's like, all right, fine, you bought all of these things. So wait, where's my food? 
and <laughs> they forgot her his food so unfortunately today he has to stay I uh, know he has to eat shaved ice and stay sate his hunger oh my god all right so uh then the little section where they do the rock paper scissor this time her hand starts flying up like a hot air balloon and she starts floating that's what happens this time and uh, okay the next part um the teacher uh okay i've again forgot her name what's her name sakurai yeah sakurai she is you know, conducting a test she's sleeping first of all and everyone's writing and we see mai just doing random stuff for example standing on the bench you know then uh she just is not there is like in the, in, in the back on top of the the lockers she's just laying there and like such a i love the random humor in this show like like who could have guessed she would do something like that she was just laying there and then she pointed up and then we see there's like someone who drew something with a chalk where someone is pointing down so <laughs> you know random stuff and yuko was calling a mio to probably like you know tell her that look what's happening but mio probably misunderstood me was thinking like she was asking for an eraser or something so she just gives him her an eraser <laughs> and the most hilarious thing happens after this she <laughs> takes off her wig <laughs> like oh my god the principal also saw that the principal was like what the hell <laughs> Oh my god ah uh, and then oh okay <laughs> and then next we see that she again has uh, the teacher wakes up like when the exam is over and then we see that she has her hair back again and she's like all right like you know takes off she also that means she had like a wig on top of a bald cap in on like on top of her original hair and yeah that's that's some really advanced joke you know <laughs> That was funny. All right, the next part we kind of see Yuko, uh, not Yuko, sorry, uh, Sakurai uh, talking about how when you try to consider the wishes of others, you get confused because there's a lot of other people. But if it's about herself or oneself, the wishes are concrete because it's you and like you know getting to realize your wish is a lot easier. So then she talks about praying to God. And uh, yeah, and also has a little dorayaki. <laughs> the next part again, uh, the green right, lead right, and uh, he's doing the same thing. Yeah, the girl is just there. And then okay, then the next scene, the parakeet scene. I think this is one scene which has been uh, shown in clips a lot of times. I've seen this clip a lot of times, even though I've seen it so many times. I made a mistake here. I I said something like uh, the whole. So uh, yeah, whatever, whatever, Uchujin. That this this whole thing, I remember like you know hearing this in some other animals. Like this is another one of those tropes where they kind of do it like this, where they kind of act as if they're aliens, you know, with a like a me mechanical voice, like whatever, whatever, Uchujin. That like you know like this. And um, I don't know why, but I mixed that up with this one, and I said that at that moment. It was not that. Uh, the packet said something else, which I remembered as soon as he said that. He said something like, uh, like, you know, I'm getting used to this body or something like that, which I guess probably like, and the joke here is that the, the parakeet is actually not a parakeet. It's some other uh, being or something, maybe an alien, maybe something else, maybe an android, who knows, but it's something else. It's not a parakeet. I do, like, and that was like the joke, but I'm pretty sure someone probably taught the parakeet that. I wonder who was it that taught the parakeet to say stuff like that, like, you know? Uh, like you know, finally I'm getting used to this body, this whole thing. But obviously Yuko just sees a random packet, and if it starts saying like this, she was surprised. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> okay, the next one. Um, uh, we see them Nan Nano and Professor doing the the like, you know, kind of drying the plums, <laughs> pickled plums, and uh, Sakamoto tries to eat them. 
But now, I, I, as far as I remember, cats definitely do not like, you know, like, uh, what do you call it, sour things. Like, they hate it. So, like, you know, like, I don't think, like, you know, like, <laughs> pickle plums is something that a cat would eat. So, obviously, Sakamoto did not know at that moment that it was a sour thing. Just licked it and then Sakamoto was like, oh my god, what the hell is this? <laughs> But yeah, now professor comes in, professor takes a foxtail uh, and uh, kind of, you know, like <laughs> uses it, tries to use it to, to play with Sakamoto and uh, uh, Nano goes out to grocery shopping while professor and Sakamoto are there. Sakamoto keeps grumbling about how, like, you know, these people have no manners and everything and is talking about that. <clears throat> You should always call me Mr. You know, <laughs> while the professor doesn't even try to rectify it, he keeps calling her him uh, Sakamoto without adding the Mr. And oh my God, he gives Sakamoto a gum, which was th those gums, you know, those those prank gums. Like you know, I, I remember that like you know these things were very popular for a moment. Like you know, people used to use these to prank their friends. You know, just pull it like an electric shock kind of hits you. That thing. <laughs> so I want to try to get it out, but get sh got shocked. And then I, I'm pretty sure Professor was doing this just knowing what, what she's doing. She was kind of twiddling the uh, foxtail in front of uh, Sakamoto. I'm pretty sure she knew what she was doing there. And obviously cats are like, you know, irresistible those type of things you know whenever something's moving or something they like, you know, like a fox tail or whatever you know is in front of them dangling just in front of them yeah they, they just cannot control them and sakamoto was you know, just looking at that and he was sweating he, he wants to catch that but that'll like you know kind of lower his reputation and all he's like what should i do so nano just goes out uh, not nano professor just goes outside to the toilet and <laughs> sakamoto kind of looks around and sees an eraser and starts playing with it while thinking about oh these kids they are younger than me so i as the elder here should definitely look take take care of these two while playing with an eraser <laughs> sakamoto comes in and he's like oh my god like you know she's going to lose all my res all the respect for me and he's like ah, i'm just taking a nap and then a random fly gets in which sakamoto tries to Catch. <laughs> Professor uses the like you know the fox tail to again like you know just yeah play with him and that was funny you know they were kind of playing around while unfortunately the snowman is melted completely so that's sad snowman Mr Snowman died so <laughs> nothing you can do about it okay now the next part is oh my God Nakanojo he just parts his hair and it looks like he has normal hair and i think his mom gets in the mom starts screaming and he also starts screaming that was funny okay then we go to that girl that girl who was playing with the guy uh, the red green light red light and uh, we see these two mai and uh, yuko on the uh, you know, like the sloping field, but they were wait, like you know, kind of sitting, and there was like a river. Like I, I feel like this is one thing that all animes have common. Like you know, like I, it's probably like, is this like based? Let me know. Is this like based on a real place? Like you know, like the whole sloping, you know, like green field, and in the end, like you know, there's like a river going to, and there's like a bridge, you know. Like this whole thing and wherever, like you know, that place. It's I've seen this place everywhere, in each and every anime, in each and every visual novel, in each and every manga. This place exists, you know. This sloping place and there's like a river and there's a bridge. Sometimes there's a bridge, sometimes there's not a bridge. But usually, like you know, a bridge also accompanies that. And uh, this is like the most common place in all animes, visual novels, every place, like you know, every every anime has this. So like you know, they they kind of sitting there, and you know what? This uh, scene completely, definitely reminded me of 
the daily life of high school boys where you know the whole literary uh, literary girl uh, arc where the girl and uh, i forgot the guy's name but one of the guys you know they they had the whole like when one was like reading a book while the other one was just sitting and like you know doing their usual shenanigans uh, especially like you know that this whole section reminded me of that you know the whole misunderstanding part part as well so <laughs> anyways okay so first of all this part at the beginning i did not understand what yuko says let me go and listen to that part again yuko looks at the book that mai is reading and she says something like okay she says that uh, mai did another like you know <sighs> another bokeh let me let me just play along or do the sukomi and she says something like mai chan that's on the book isn't it it says something like that i don't understand this joke what was the name of the book was it was it the name of the book Okay, this part I don't understand. This this is probably like you know it's like an inside joke or something. She says something like on the book, on the book. I think that's what he says. She says on the book. My chance. Sorry, on the book. Yeah, something like that. She says. Unfortunately, I I wasn't able to understand this joke, but it was probably some kind of wordplay. and my is like you could don't make that joke ever again <laughs> and she's just shocked and he's she's like if you do that you'll make my jokes look bad like i feel like this whole section was you know this this final section was just yuko making joke while uh, at the beginning my was just like oh don't do this you know he she takes she acts as if she's taking that extremely negatively and then she will like, you know says something else which makes that whole statement very light hearted like this was happening you know like yuko was saying something she like you know mai was acting very like you know either offended or acting very negatively or something like that and yuko was getting shocked at that and then mai was like you know saying something else which completely salvaged the situation and made made the whole thing very harmless or funny like this was happening throughout the live final section like that's why i said it was a roller coaster of emotions the final section and <laughs> it was hilarious like yuko was like oh really okay okay she's like okay fine that's that's nice and then she says something like oh like you know whenever i see english like that i want to like you know kind of uh, joke okay i'm at that age when english just pops out of my mouth i just didn't know if you were making a joke or not and uh, and you know i just couldn't resist and then she again you can see this you know like you could say something um my is like are you serious and <laughs> she's like wait what my is of all people i thought you would understand she's shocked you go and then she's like oh really okay 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 she was like oh wow i didn't realize you thought of me in that way like this was happening throughout and then they're like they at first there she's like oh like we are not friends and don't talk about trust and then she's like oh we and out here i think there's a little translation error i wouldn't say yeah error you could say but she says she says like we're not friends uh and she says shin you which translates to as far as i know best friends or comrades you could say something like that best friends comrades but here in the translation they she says sisters which i guess you could call them sisters if you think of in, in that way but i guess best friend would have been better in this case if the translation was something like that like sisters doesn't make sense by the end of it but she was talking about shinyu so anyways um she says like um best friends don't need words to understand each other like i feel like best friends would have like you know would have been better in this case at least not sisters but anyways like you know that's just me uh so 
<laughs> like, oh my god. And Yuko's like, oh, really? Oh, like you thought of me in this way. And then. Again, you know, like. She was like, oh, like, you know, uh, best friends can also use words like that. Touches her. And she just slaps her away. Again, Yuko's shocked. Mai is like, could you stop touching me like that? Yuko's shocked. Yuko's like, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> and she's like, stop it. If you do that, I... <laughs> and again, like, you know, like this, this whole section was so hilarious. Like this continues, this whole thing continues. They're like, and they kind of joke, like, and they kind of do that whole thing. She's like, acts as if, oh, like, if you say something mm. like that, you know, like, my feelings will, like, you know, like, come out or something like that. She was, like, you know, saying. And Yuko is like, what? What's happening here? And then she gets embarrassed. She's like, is that why she called me here all alone? <laughs> and then she's like, okay, I'm not sure I understand, but we're still in high school. So, you know, like, now is not the time she was saying all of this. And then mine's like, it was a joke. And, <laughs> and she's like, oh my God, she just, yeah. And that was that was whole like that, that that whole section was completely a joke or as you say uh, bokeh. <laughs> and then she again does it. You know, she she does that again. Talks about how she likes being hated. And then she's like, oh, I am just joking again. And Yuko's like, what the hell? Like you know, from where are you joking? And from where you are not joking? It's like, you know, <laughs> it's very weird to understand that. Then she's like, there was another joke. And this part, she says, like, when I said you were quick to catch on, you were supposed to say you weren't, which is so hilarious because actually she wasn't able to really catch up on that. So the whole joke, she wasn't able to get. So that means, like, you know, this is like a complicated section, you know. She's like, you should have said that no, I'm not when I said that you're able to understand like, you know, these jokes so like, you know, properly because she really wasn't able to understand the joke. She was going along with it. <laughs> so that in itself was also a part where she should have said, like, you know, she should have succumbed that no, I'm not something like that as far as I could understand. So. Like, these are some high-level jokes, you know, like, I, I can kind of understand what they're trying to say, but it's, it's a little bit difficult, especially the final part. But it was funny, you know, like, the, the whole punchline of this last section was that she wasn't, Yuko wasn't able to understand where the joke started and where it, where it ended. Like, that was the whole hilarious portion of the final section. Like, which is something I feel like is very common in no normal everyday life as well like there's a lot of sex times when i i feel like like people really don't understand if a person person is joking or not because they say something completely outrageous and people are like wait what am i supposed to laugh at this is that supposed to be a joke if it is a joke from where is just the joke start and where does it end like you know like, like they get confused and i feel like this is something that happens so many times <laughs> and they're like should i laugh at this if i don't laugh at this and it just is intended as a joke that would mean like, you know, like, like, you know, like, like the other person would be sad, you know, but if I laugh at it and if it's not supposed to be a joke, then I'm like, you know, I'm being like, you know, it, it would be insensitive, like this whole dilemma. And it's something that happens so much. And yeah, like that was, that was great. And then this like, thing ends. And then after the after credit scene, again, like, you know, like a voice actor, a voice act that section. And here's a, here's a little wordplay. She says something like, it's been 40 years. She says, Danchi des, which I think translates to apartment building. And then she says, Danchi Zuma, which translates to housewife. Yeah. And then she's like, oh, you'll find an, an unbelievable amount of sexiness to it. Now, I feel like this whole translation, house apartment and housewife, this like you know the joke kind of gets a little lost in the translation because uh, I feel like you know like if in Japanese Danchi and the Danchi Zuma this the joke actually translates well here because um like 
this whole thing of Danchi Zuma, as she says, like it has an unbelievable amount of sexiness to it. You know, in Japanese, it makes sense. But in, if it's translated to English, it doesn't. Because Danchi Zuma, you know, like, which is like you can understand like you know like it, it has a like you know if, if you've played um what can i say like you know if, uh, like <laughs> i don't know how to explain this but this this joke i i was able to understand it it makes sense but in translation when you translate it to english the joke kind of fades away because house apartment and housewife it, it doesn't make sense but danchi and danchi zuma it makes sense so i don't know if i'm able to explain this but yeah, I was able to understand the final joke. That was funny. <laughs> because it is true, you know, Danchi Zuma, it does have a bit of sensuality to it. You know? Danchi Zuma. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, I've been playing a lot of visual novel and arrow games, so unfortunately, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the main reason. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> anyway, so that's it. Oh my god, I, I love this show, you know, because it has so many inside jokes, which even if a few of them I'm unable to understand, I am able to understand a few of them, which makes it so hilarious. And, uh, you know, like, this this is something that I really enjoy. This is why I also enjoyed Gintama so much, because of its inside jokes, wordplays and everything. And Nichijou is something which also does that. And I, and I love that so much. So, yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. This was my reaction to Nichijou episode number... Um, for yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel Or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and I'll check them out So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Nishijo until then goodbye and have a nice day